This aircraft actually has the ability to hover automatically without any pilot input. We are flying platform, we can move pretty fast, so we can actually extend the surveillance reach with our sensors. The Seahawk is actually a very advanced uh, naval helicopter. In fact, it's probably the most advanced in the world right now. This is the Sikorsky S-70B Seahawk naval helicopter, one of the most advanced naval helicopters of its class. The SAF have acquired six of these naval helicopters, and after a one-year exercise in the US, all six are back in Singapore for the inauguration into the 123 Squadron at Sembawang Air Base. Minister for Education and Second Minister for Defence, Dr. Ng N. Hen, graced the inauguration ceremony of the Seahawk into the 123 Squadron on Tuesday. The squadron, he says, will be able to serve the armed forces in sea, air and land. In its light attack role, 123 Squadron enhanced the Army's maneuverability and augmented its firepower from the air. Although the Fennec helicopter has since been drawn down, it showed the potential of integrating the capabilities of different services in sea, air and land to bring about a higher le level of depth and sophistication in executing SAF's operations. Today's inauguration of the S-70B Seahawk Naval Helicopter continues this same theme where the 123 Squadron provides interoperability between the Air Force and maritime operations. The S-70B Seahawk serves several purposes. It can detect submarines within 400 nautical miles and it can engage the enemy as it is the first weapons equipped aircraft for the Singapore Navy. The Seahawk naval helicopter also boasts other features that sets it apart from the land-based helicopters. Naval aviation uh, is well known to be a very different ball game compared to land-based uh, flying. Um, in a land-based situation, I will fly my helicopter out and uh, not be worried that uh, I have nowhere to land back because the, the air, airfield and the uh, helipad will be there waiting for me. Whereas uh, the sea environment is very different, it is more dynamic, it is uh, more three-dimensional and uh, having get out there, we must first find mothership and once you find mothership, you must go uh, against the dynamics of a very different environment which is uh, three-dimensional, uh, which comes into play uh, in terms of sea waves and uh, the deck movement. A traditional helicopter um, will require a lot of uh, hand and leg movements by the pilot to, for example, hover the helicopter. This aircraft actually has the ability to hover automatically without any pilot input. The pilot uh, just has to ensure safe operations. This is especially useful in uh, night operations over the sea, over the water, on a dark night, overcast, where, where even with uh, image uh, intens int intensifiers, you can't really uh, make out any good ground features. Uh, any pilot will tell you that to fly an aircraft uh, properly, you need uh, visual cues. And this aircraft does it safely at night uh, by itself. The S-70B Seahawk is just the latest example of how the Navy and Air Force are working towards a fully integrated armed forces.